Welcome back to another exciting, action-packed episode of Mac Music Review. Before we hop into the album review, just want to say there's going to be some stuff down in the description if you want to know how the channel works, if you want to see what I'm reviewing next, if you want to request an album for me to review, all that is going to be down in the description. Today we're going to be looking at the album Good Religion by Dream Junkies, and it looks like this. Dream Junkies are a Christian rap group. There really are not a whole lot of those. When you hear Christian rap group, you're probably thinking DC Talk or Social Club Misfits or the most famous right now is probably uh, 116. But really, there aren't that many. And these guys are the actual members of Dream Junkies are Ruslan. He's the white guy. Um, John Givis. He's the young black guy who smokes. And um, Bayleaf, who's the big guy who's also a dad. And so that's basically all you gotta know about their personalities and everything. But, um, I mean, that's, those are their, those are the, the traits that stand out about them on this album. And each member really does, like, they all complement each other, and they all kind of go build off of each other. And their differences and their similarities all kind of work together and fit in interesting ways. But they also all have their own standout, um, you know, distinctive things about them. The way Bayleaf raps is very, very strange. The way he talks, he'll make his voice like really high and really strained. And then um, John Givens just sounds really relaxed and he sounds like the most traditional rapper of the group. He sounds like something you would expect from, I guess, a lot of rappers. And then Ruslan has a very, um, very pushy delivery where he really makes all this, he's very lyrical, he wants all the lyrics to stick and he tries to really, his, his delivery is very just kind of pounding and just kind of, hey, this is what I have to say, listen to my words that I, he very clearly articulates all of his words and that's one of the, that's one of his, stand, probably his biggest uh, standout thing, besides being the only white person on the group, in the group. This album's got 12 tracks, and it's 52 minutes long. That's because some of the songs in this album are pretty long. Songs like uh, All's I Need, uh, Left Coast. I mean, I don't know if Left Coast is, is really long. But On the Road, All's I Need, Answer Your Call. There are a lot of slow, long songs on this album. Or a good, or a good bit of long, slow songs. So this, this album, yeah, 52 minutes. Is, there's plenty of music, despite only having 12 songs. Dream Junkies is really, really obscure. Even in the world of Christian rap music, these guys are obscure because individually, none of these guys are very popular. Bayleaf, John Givis, and Ruslan really are very small names in Christian rap. Even though, you know, Christian rap is, is very small by itself, they're even small in that really small subgenre of rap music. But um, they did have one song, one song on here which was kind of a hit, and that is I Got the Juice. It has some over a million views on YouTube. I don't remember how many. May have, might have like two million. I don't think it does. But that the music video got over a million views, so that's like their their one and only hit. Now for the sound and tone of Good Religion, this album is a lot of this album is kind of slow and slow burning, and the music really isn't crazy. Most of the music is not like really stand out, really bold, really bright, really loud. The main point of Good Religion is really the rappers themselves. Is just is just it's a very lyrical album. There's a lot of lyrics. There's I mean, that's what it is. It's just these guys all doing their own thing and doing things together and really just all, you know, rapping. And and the music is sometimes really slow. It's sometimes kind of the beat is kind of subtle. Um some slow songs, Take Me Back, is mostly pretty slow, and then you get to the chorus and it, it picks up in the energy and intensity. Um, Left Coast is a super chill song, super slow. Uh, On the Road is another long, chill song. Uh, Answer Your Call and All's I Need are also long and slow songs. Very slow burning, slow songs. Most upbeat songs on the album are Boogeyman, I Got the Juice, and uh, going left. All of these songs really, um, Boogeyman has really fast, energetic rapping by John Givis. I Got the Juice is just the craziest beat. It's literally the most, like, aggressive, like, just in your face, like, really, really energetic and crazy, that song is. 
and then you have going left, which has a really that really banks a lot, puts a lot of its focus into the hook, into the chorus, and and it's like a really fun like get you moving kind of hook. But besides that, this album really is is kind of slow, or some of it it sounds kind of dark, and it's not super upbeat or energetic. The lyrical content on this record, one of the things about this record is most of the songs don't have like a super concrete theme and focus of the lyrics. Like I said, it's mostly this album is a lot, a lot of this album is really just a tool for these guys to just do and say whatever they want. Uh, on intro, there's intro is a very poetic song and it's kind of like these big, deep questions that um, Bayleaf is asking and it's, you know, it's it's kind of serious. It's kind of a kind of a serious song. You also have songs like uh, Boogeyman, which is the lyrics can be interpreted in different ways. There are a lot of different things that Boogeyman could be referring to that uh, John Givens is talking about. And then you got I Got the Juice, which is mostly just a hype up track. Um, shoot Me is a very aggressive song where they're talking about man, I, you guys might shoot me because blah 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 blah. And they're just saying all this stuff, like, Russ Lynn is like, I'm going to say all this stuff that's, like, slightly controversial, and you guys might get upset with me and want to shoot me. And so it's kind of, it's kind of dramatic. And then you have um, Showbiz, which is a very fun, upbeat song about them talking about doing a live show. Mostly Russ Lynn talking about doing a live show. And talking about his white privilege. And it's funny. It's a funny song. And then you have uh, Answer Your Call... Uh, All's I Need, they're both very serious songs. Secondhand Smoke, the whole the whole chorus, the whole hook of that song is based on John Give's uh, smoking habit. He smokes, and th that's actually name-checked, that's actually referenced throughout the album. Different songs, they reference how John Give's smokes. So, so that's a thing. I have listened to this album many, 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 many times, and I think it is really, really good, and I'm going to try to explain why in just a second. I mean, right now. The best thing about this album is Dream Junkies. The best thing about this Dream Junkies album is Dream Junkies, because John Givis, Bayleaf, and Rustlin all have very distinct personalities, and they all rap very, very well on this album. And they complement each other, and they just, there's just a whole lot, and they just rap very well. They're basically all good lyricists. I would say the weakest member of the group is John Givis, and that he's, he's less original, he's less distinctive, and he's less... Yeah, he's less original and distinctive than the other two members of the group, but that works because there's no other member of the group that's like John Givis. He is unique to that to the group he is in, and he brings he kind of like brings some stuff down to earth and kind of, you know, for other for casual fans of rap music or people who, you know, who listen to a lot of rap music, they're gonna relate to him, I guess. But and then Jay Give and then Rustlin and Bailey for a little bit more out there and a little bit more weird, and. And really, just all the guys on this album do a great job. Um, they each have moments where they really, really do a fantastic job. John Givis absolutely kills the song Boogeyman. Rustlin does a great job on Showbiz. And Bayleaf does a really, really good job on the intro. And basically, every single part he's in, Bayleaf is really cool. He, he, does, he has a very unique rapping style and a very unique, weird performance on this album, and he does a really, really good job. Most of the songs on this album are not immediately appealing. They don't, uh, like most rap music, I feel like is made to immediately grab your attention. You'd be like, whoa, what did, what did you just say? What is this beat? Like, this beat is so cool. It's so fresh. Look at how cool this song sounds. That's what most rap music is, and that's not what this album is. In a way, this album might be kind of like a throwback hip-hop album where or rap album where they really just focused on the rapping and the beat was just kind of to as a backdrop to the actual rapping because that's how I feel like this album is. A lot of the music is kind of subtle, isn't super in your face grabbing your attention. But I mean that works for the al that works in the album's favor because the songs just get better and better and better when you really peel back the layers and really hearing what they're saying and really just just noticing how good each member's chemistry and performance is on this album. Some of the best songs in this album are uh, Intro. Intro is just really 
really good music on this one, really standout music and performance by Bayleaf and and basically everybody that it's a really memorable uh, strong song. Boogeyman is really good. It's not the best song on the album. It's still really good. John Givis does a great job and it's really cool. I got the juice is the craziest most one of the most awesome fun just awesome rap songs I've ever heard. It is so cool. You, if you're going to listen to one song on this album, listen to I Got The Juice. It doesn't represent the album very well because most songs do not have that energy that's on that song, but it is, it's a lot of fun. It's really cool. Uh, Left Coast is a very chill jam that just works so well. There's something so nice about it, something so cool about the beat and how laid back it is and just... It just works super duper well. Another song just like it, I mean similar to it that it's slow and but it just works really well. It just feels really nice. It just sounds really nice. It's on the road. That has grown to be one of my favorite songs in this album. I originally didn't like it that much because of how slow it was, but it really is a good song, and it sounds really good. Going Left, the other fun song on this album, is a lot of fun. It's not as good as I Got the Juice, but it is super good hook, super catchy. You're going to be jamming to it. You're going to be singing along. It's a cool song. Yeah. This album is really good. The performances, the best thing about this album is the characteris is the personalities and characteristics of the members of the group and how they complement each other and how they stand out and how they have chemistry together and they all just do a fantastic job. And that makes this a rap album that's actually more than beats. This album really goes beyond just sounding good, more goes beyond being well produced. It's actually well rapped. It's well sung. It's it's the rapping on it is good. The rappers on this on this rap album actually stand out, have a lot of personality, and that is the best thing about this project. And it really, really makes it stand out. I would say some of the music on this album is really, really good. Some really, there is some really good production, even though, like I said, it's not immediately, you don't, it's not, some of it's more subtle, so you don't immediately love it, but it really grows on you. This is an album that gets better and better with each listen. I'm, the only problem with this album is the song Answer Your Call and All I Need because I think they're a little bit too slow. They could be more upbeat. They could be more effective with slow songs because there are better slow songs on this album. I'm going to give this album a 4.25 out of 5. Thank you for watching the video. What is your favorite Dream Junkie song? This is interesting. This is like the only album they've ever done. I don't know. They probably broke up after this because... Rappers, generally rappers don't have like long hiatuses. They, you know, the point of rap music is one of the things, big things about rap music is you're just constantly creating, you're constantly dropping singles, constantly collabing. And I really haven't kept up with these guys. I know, I, yeah, I think I heard that Bayleaf quit rapping. He's no longer a rapper. So I guess Dream Junkies doesn't exist anymore. I don't know what's up with John Givis. I don't know what's up with Rustlin. I don't keep up. That's an interesting thing about this album. I do not keep up with the members individually, but I love it when they work together on this album. They really all do a fantastic job. Thank you for watching.